Hi everybody, Cerebra Sana in Paris. I hope you guys are sitting down because I have just come across something that I think is going to blow your mind. It certainly blew mine. What you've got on the screen here is something a friend of mine sent me just to add a new level of insanity to the insane situation that we're already in. And as you can see on the screen, it's it's a special, you know, a ventilator mask for dogs which I just immediately thought the poor puppy doesn't deserve to have that put on his face. So I just went and you know, did a search for protective dog mask just to get some more information. And I came across, you know, the, the website. I clicked a few more links and you could see these articles were coming up. People are rushing to protect their pets and buying face masks. And, and as you've seen in my previous videos, when you start to see like the same sentences being used in articles and stuff, you can be sure that there's a common source for that somewhere. Pretty much anybody can put out a press release and, and it can get picked up by, by newspapers or not. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's a real story or that it's news. I, I think if you've been with me for a little while, you know pretty much how to interpret some of these some of these results so I started clicking on these links to see what these articles were saying and here's one from USA Today and there was this photo here's another one. Oh, it, it looks like it's the same photo this is Business Insider France interesting uh, another trick that I've told you about is when you see images you can go and find out where that image has appeared elsewhere on the web and you can see that this picture is is showing up in in, in various different websites. So here again it says um, Bay Area native describes living in Wuhan amid the CV. Okay, um, and they're all referencing this one guy. So here's that article. Here's that photo again, but this is in um, this is in an article. This is in an article that's just showing um, this says the most original masks, the most original masks. Oh, ads are insane the most original masks around the world and in it we find that same picture again now the trick here is in the other articles there's no hiding the guy's identity right it says in this january 26 2020 photo doug perez and his girlfriend outfit their labrador chubby so there's no hiding who this guy is and he, he's apparently from California, which gets confirmed in, in other articles. As you can see here, another one of these articles from this search shows us oh, it's San Francisco SF Gate. So he's a California guy who's apparently living in Wuhan, China. And here he is with his dog. And another article in a New Zealand newspaper. Life as a foreigner riding out the lockdown in CV hit Wuhan. The same guy in the same story. Here he is again. So this is just raising, see it says here, a San Francisco native is staying behind in Wuhan, can't leave his Chinese girlfriend or his dog, and plans to ride out the epidemic. Sure, Doug. I believe you. Really, I do. So... I was looking at all of this stuff like yesterday or the day before yesterday and just just moments before I turned on my microphone I just came back to it and I was about to make my video about the riot situation and and then I just I have all my tabs as you can see I have all my tabs that just stay open for for weeks on end because there's so many things that I want to be telling you guys about and I don't dare shut everything down. So all my tabs are always there. So I just started and I put them in the order of everything I want to tell you guys. So I just came back and I'm looking at this dog again, the poor thing. And and I just said, oh, you know, this is he's supposed to be a guy, but why is his photo linked to the AP and this other photo, you know, uh, another news agency? It just something wasn't sitting right with me about that. So all I did was uh, I started looking up the guy. I searched this as is, and uh, we know he's from Marin County. So I just started searching who this guy might be in Marin County. And look what I found. I found this photo. And I think 
everyone would agree with me that this is the same guy. Now the fun starts because the question is, where did I find this photo? Now let's go, we're going to walk backwards. I found this photo in a LinkedIn profile. Here he is. The articles that I was just showing you before are telling us he's an English teacher in Wuhan. But curiously, on his LinkedIn, he doesn't talk at all about teaching English. He works for an investment company, financial advisor, owner of personal trainer, so he's into fitness, that's fine, and an, an analyst at the U.S. Department of Justice in Washington, D.C. Juvenile Justice, Delinquency Prevention Commission, an intern, Marin County, here's the guy. Again, he's pretty close to, you know, official entities, shall we say. But I wasn't quite sure that this would be the same guy because I was pretty much just looking at his experience, looking for anything that might, you know, put him in China or show that he's a, a an English teacher or something like that. And I'm not finding it. And then when I went back up and I looked at the photo, I just, you right click on the photo, view the image. And that's how I just put them side by side. And I was like, oh my God. What do you think? The other thing I found kind of interesting in these articles, this was one of the first, this was January of 2020. So granted, they're telling us the crisis started in China. So if the man is supposedly in China, okay, the dates would correspond. And, and so all the press is picking it up. And then you see down here, photo, the AP photo. How come the AP is in this guy's house taking a picture of him and his dog? Just think about it. Do, 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 does everybody just get calls from the AP? How did they choose him? Even if you are Dake King, a reporter for the AP, how do you find the guy and go to his house and start taking pictures of him and his girlfriend and, 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 and them dressing up their little dog? I mean, how does that happen? Well, it happens when you are somebody who you really aren't, right? This guy has got to have connections Right? We know the guy has connections. Well, he has 186 connections right there, but those connections are all like investment and finance and government connections. It's a horrible ra rabbit hole. All this from a joke that a friend of mine said, not a joke, I mean, sadly, this poor puppy is wearing this horrible thing on his face, but somebody sends this to me sort of shaking my head and, and, and from it, what do we discover? We discover a fraud passing himself off as an idiot in China with his dog dressed up like a little raincoat dog. And, and the guy is like connected to finance and government. Isn't that ironic? <laughs> that is it guys. Cerebrasana signing off from Paris. Bye everybody.